Hi there boys and girls, we have put together a guide for you and your parents all about remote learning, all about working from home and how to get the best out of it. So a copy of this will be uploaded to your Google Classroom, but I thought I would just share a video where I talk through each of the parts of it, okay? So the first bit, the introduction. We understand that in the current circumstances, remote learning may feel an unusual and uncertain experience for some children. We have put together some guidance to support you so that you understand the school's expectations while you, whilst you are learning remotely. It will also provide you with information about how to stay both physically and mentally well, how to stay safe online when you're using the internet, and what to do if you feel worried. So, remote learning expectations. Your teacher will be planning and delivering exciting and challenging work for you to be completing at home. You can access your daily classwork in two ways, either as a paper pack or on the Google Classroom. There will be recorded maths and English lessons on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays for you to watch and complete an activity linked to the video. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, there will be separate activities and challenges for you to complete. In addition to daily maths and English learning, there will be one science lesson and one topic lesson for you to complete each week. You must also be reading a book every day, and we'll come back to that in a minute, but reading a book is really, really important, keeping reading, okay? Being organised and ready for activities. Each day before the start of each task, make sure you have all the equipment and resources that you are going to need to use to complete your work. If you are worried that you don't have access to the right equipment, speak to a parent who will be able to help you to be ready. So make sure before you begin any activity that you have all the bits, all the resources that you need to be able to complete the activity. So completing activities. Whether you are completing an activity linked to a recorded lesson or a separate activity, you must complete all tasks to the best of your ability. And remember the school motto, giving our best, achieving our highest. Now these high expectations of your work also link to some of the school values. And we've just included the main ones here. Take responsibility for your home learning, try your best with remote learning, and be positive even if sometimes you feel like you don't want to be positive, try to stay positive. So, whilst you are learning remotely, we expect you to spend at least one hour on each task you are set, complete the daily maths and English activities and the science and topic lessons on the days that they are set, ask your parents if you need help with an activity, be reading every day. This can be a mixture of stories, so fiction, and it can also be information books, so non-fiction, but you must be reading every day. Submitting work. So when you have completed each activity to the best of your ability, check over it to make sure you are happy with what you are going to submit to your teacher. If you are completing activities on Google Classroom, make sure you turn in your work during the school day, so between 8.45 and 3.15 p.m. This means your teacher can look at the task you have completed and give you feedback. Make sure you read your teacher's comments and make any changes that they suggest. If you are completing work from a paper pack form, ask your parent to return the completed pack to school. Your teacher will mark your work. Remember, you can still log in to Google Classroom to watch the recorded lesson. So even if you are completing a paper pack and you are able to access the Google Classroom, you can still watch the recorded lessons and then complete your work on the paper pack. So we've then just got some top tips for remote learning. So take regular breaks between your schoolwork. So every hour, take a 10 minute break. Make yourself a plan for the day and stick to it. Keep to the school routine. You could start your day at 9am and finish at 3.15pm every day. Take your lunch break and uh, take your, sorry, take your break time and lunch time at the same times as you would in school to make it feel like a normal school day. Try to avoid completing home learning in your bedroom. Keep background distractions to a minimum, so don't have the TV or music on in the background. This will help you to stay focused and to be more productive. Okay, so there's just some top tips for effective remote learning.
So now we're going to move on to just thinking about how we can uh, help you and support you with promoting physical well-being and also mental well-being. So it is important to make sure you look after your physical health Try to start your day with some exercise. You could go for a run with a parent, take part in the Joe Wicks YouTube workout, or you could complete a PE activity uploaded to your Google Classroom. So just a few things that you could do to start your day. Now, when you are completing work, aim to complete work at a table or desk, ensuring your back is supported rather than laying on your bed or the sofa. This will reduce any unnecessary aches and pains. When you take a short break between sessions, aim to stand up and walk away from your device so that your eyes can have a rest and you can stretch your legs. So that's really important. When you are having a break from work, make sure you actually physically step away from the work before you go back to it. If you feel unwell or you are unable to complete the work set, you must tell your parents and make sure you let your class teacher know as soon as possible, ideally before the start of the school day, so that they know that you're not well and you won't be completing the work that day. So mental health is equally as important as your physical health. Here are some tips and suggestions for ensuring that you look after your mental well-being while you are at home. So, Get into a routine that you can follow each day during the school week. Make sure that you wake up and go to bed at the same time. Eat normally, making sure you have three meals a day at regular times. Don't complete schoolwork other than reading in the evenings or at the weekend. You need a balance between your home life and your school life. Talk regularly to your family and friends. Always check with a parent how, about how you can set this up, whether it's on the phone or on a device. Staying active, as we've just talked about, can also be good for your mental well-being. Try to keep your bedroom tidy so you can feel relaxed in it when you rest. Complete activities that you know that you enjoy doing. This might be creating art, baking cakes or playing with your favourite toys. Share any worries or concerns you may have with a trusted adult. And Childline has a website called Toolbox where you can find games, videos and methods to help you with your concerns. There is even a calm zone area of the website for helping you let go of your worries. And then all of this can be found at www.childline.org forward slash UK forward slash toolbox. Staying safe online. If you are spending more time at home, you are likely to be spending more time online using the internet to complete and submit work, to talk to your family and friends, and to stay entertained. Whilst there are many positive aspects to the internet, it is important that you remember to use it sensibly and safely. You should consider ways that you can stay safe online and maintain a healthy relationship with the internet. We suggest the following, so here are some tips for how you can maintain a positive and healthy relationship with the internet. So plan in plenty of screen breaks if you're using a laptop or other device to complete schoolwork. So as I said earlier, if you're having a break from your schoolwork, actually walk away from the computer or device so that your eyes can have a rest too. Try to have technology-free meal time. So when you're eating, um, have a no phones or no devices at the table rule. Do not keep your phone, tablet or laptop in your bedroom. Check with a parent before using any device to contact family or friends so that your parent knows who you are talking to. That's really important. If you are contacting family or friends by phone or video, make sure you do it in a family space such as the kitchen or the lounge. Uh, also remember boys and girls, look at the school's acceptable use agreement that you signed back in September 2020, which reminds you how to behave when you are online. And then coming up to the top here, there we go. Ask a parent if you have the, uh, to check that you have the right settings applied to apps and websites so that you don't see anything you don't want to and can limit who can contact you. If you do see, hear or read anything online that makes you feel worried, unsure or uncomfortable, make sure you tell a trusted adult immediately. That is really important, boys and girls, that if you see uh, something online or read something or hear something online that makes you feel worried, unsure or uncomfortable, make sure you tell a trusted adult immediately. If you need to report something that you have seen online, 
ensure you use the child exploitation and online protection command, which is called CEOP. And there is the address, the web address for CEOP. Okay. Are you feeling worried? There may be times when you are feeling worried or concerned about something. If you are worrying about something related to a friend or classmate, this is also a relevant concern. You should always try, uh, tell a trusted adult at home or contact a member of staff in school. We are always here for you boys and girls. Remember, you can always contact Childline on 0800 1111 or go online at www.childline.org.uk. So, boys and girls, just a presentation for you about how you can get the best out of remote learning at home and some top tips for how you can keep your physical and mental health and well-being in a good way. So, this will be uploaded to your Google Classroom. Any concerns, speak to a trusted adult or you can speak to a member of school staff. See you soon, boys and girls.